Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. As always, I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can solve simple stats on the Casio FX300 ES Plus calculator. To do this we use the mode key that looks like this located here, the shift key that looks like this located here, and the one key with the second function or shift function of stat that looks like this located down here. The first thing we want to do is turn our calculator into stats mode. To do that we press the mode key so that we get to this menu and then we want to press 2 for stat. That'll bring us to this complicated looking menu but we only want one variable or basic statistics so we just press 1. There we go and that brings us to this table here where we can enter our data set. For our example this will be our data set here. 60, 20, 10, 10. We can go ahead and enter the 60 first and hit equals and here we see 60 with a frequency of 1. 1 will be the standard if we don't change that. Next we have 20 so we enter 20 equals there we go and next notice we have two tens here so we can take advantage of that frequency column. So we enter the 10, press equals, and since 10 occurs twice, if we scroll up and over to that column there and then press 2 and equals, we're now telling the calculator that 10 occurs twice. All right, our data has now been entered, and we can press AC to clear our screen. Notice we have the word stat at the top of our screen here. That lets us know we're in statistics mode, so be aware of that if you're getting some weird answers or weird results, that might have something to do with it. Now we're ready to see some results. To do that we press shift and then the one key with the shift function of stat. That'll bring us to this menu here. Well, let's start out with finding our n or number of variables. So to do that we go to 4 and we see 1 is n, so we press 1 and equals, and we see we get an n value of 4. That lets us know we have 4 pieces of data in our data set. Next, let's find our mean. Shift 1 again and 4. And we see we, number 2 is x bar or mean, so we press 2 equals and we see we get a mean of 25, which is correct. If we go back to stats, we can next find our population standard deviation by pressing 3 equals, there we go, and we see we get a population standard deviation of 20.6155 etc. We can also use this to calculate a population variance by squaring this number with the x squared key right there, pressing equals, and we see we get a population variance of 425. Next we can get our sample standard deviation by going shift 1 into variables number 4 and choosing 4 in this menu with the large sigma x or sample standard deviation. So we press 4 and equals and here we see we get 23.8047 etc. And again, we can get our sample variance by squaring this number and pressing equals. And we see we get a sample variance of 566.6666, etc. If we go back into our stats, we can get our sums by choosing number 3. There we go. We can choose either 1 for sum of squares, which gives us 4,200. Yep. Or we can go shift stat 3 and our sum with number 2. And we see this gives us 100. Which makes sense because remember our data set was 60, 20, 10, 10, which should add up to 100. In the stats menu, you can also find some min max values if you go into number 5 here. You get your minimum x, max x, your first quartile, your median, and your third quartile here. 
All right, once you're done with this, you can go back to mode. And if you want to go back into normal mode, press comp. You'll see the word stat has disappeared from the top of our screen. And we're back to normal mode here. All right, I hope this helps. And good luck on those tests out there, everybody.